If you have four legs and you like to gallop around, maybe you're a zebra or a springbok or a giraffe. Now, if you're a giraffe, why do you have such a long neck? Well, please consider the following. Now, when you watch giraffes eat, you'll see that they eat leaves up high in trees. That's what giraffes do all day. They eat leaf tree salad, leaves that other animals can't reach. Now, you might think that if you were another animal and you wanted to reach those high leaves, you'd just stretch your neck, stretch your neck, stretch, just sort of stretch. And then eventually, you'd be able to eat leaves up higher in trees. Well, it doesn't work that way. In order to have a slightly longer neck, you have to be born with one. Just slightly longer. Just slightly longer. See, having a slightly longer neck, just slightly longer, allows you to reach leaves that are slightly higher. Slightly higher. And that gives you a slightly better chance, slightly better chance of having enough to eat, which gives you a slightly better chance, slightly better chance of having giraffe kids. Or, uh, gids. See it? Because it begins with a G. <laughs> anyway, the kids with slightly longer necks, just slightly longer, have a better chance of having kids with even longer necks. And eventually, after millions of years and many, many generations, giraffes ended up with pretty long necks. This is the process of evolution by selection. Small changes with each generation. So big changes take thousands of generations, millions of years. And that's how giraffes get to have such long necks. Maybe these guys are onto something. Looks good. Thank you for joining me. I'll consider the following.